Good evening, folks. I'm here on Gunnersville Lake today, and uh, what I want to do is catch a few flathead if I can this evening. Uh, but today I want to show y'all something. Here's a Daiwa. It's a uh, it's an old reel. It's a Daiwa model GX one six five five seven. Okay, it's a high-speed reel, old reel, and it was sent to me from Hilton from Indiana, okay? And I have loaded on it 17-pound test, Cajun Red Line, and I'll show you my rig right here in a minute. Let's get set up here. Let's do some catfishing this evening. Elmo! Well, to start with, I took Liberty... And with my little micro rod right here, this is a micro jig made by Power Bait, little bitty jig, under a float, and I went ahead and I caught me a couple small bluegill. Uh, they're not too small. Let's go look at them. I got two right here. They're about the half the size of your hand, or one third the size. And that's a good flathead bait. And, uh, we're going to take this rig right here. Let me show you my rig. Right here. I'm, like I said, I'm running 17 pound test Cajun on this rig right here because the reel wouldn't handle no more than 17 pound line. The diameter of the spool was too small, so I put on as heavy a line as I could on this reel, which I can handle a big fish with 17 pound line, folks. Okay, my leader, I have a barrel swivel right here. And my leader is 25 pound test trialing big game. And I have a six salt circle hook right here. Okay, made by Seaguar. Now this hook, I've snailed the hook on through the front. There's my main line to give it that trigger effect. Okay, you don't have to on a straight circle hook, but it, it enhances your hook set. Uh, which you don't set, you just reel with a circle hook. Now this is how, for flathead catfish, or blues, it doesn't matter, I will hook a, a bluegill behind the anal fin like this. Okay. Just like that. Clear your scales from your hook point. Now watch this bluegill. I don't have any weight on here. Nothing but a, a swivel, but watch the bluegill, what he does. Okay, he goes straight to the bottom. Let's look at that again. Straight to the bottom. Being that I'm fishing some heavy rocks right here, this will keep me from getting hung up and snagged. That's the reason I fish that way. All right, let's send this rod out. Send this bluegill out. And I'm going to let him go straight to the bottom. I'm going to rock pile out here. And then we're going to wait for a flathead. Now I have another rod right here rigged up with 20 pound test. Same rig as far as the barrel swivel and hook goes. And I'm going to send it out the other way. And, uh, we're going to try to catch a flathead this evening. I got a fish right here on Hilton's reel running with it. Let's see if it's a flathead or a blue or... There's the fish. All right, I can already tell it's a flathead. He's wanting to stay on the bottom, folks. I hadn't been here but about 10 minutes. And we're just gonna take our time right here. I'm gonna hold my rod up because we got a lot of rocks right here. But that's a flathead. Let me loosen this drag off a little bit. No doubt a flathead. There we go. It's a small one, but I tell you, a flathead can fight. They got a lot of power, even the little ones. 
and uh, this ain't nothing but free line and look how pretty that fish is in that clear water free line and bluegill watch him right there see he's just gonna give me a fit that's okay now them are beautiful fish and the Tennessee River is full of them Whew. my arms hurt that's how strong they are it's just a straight down bulldog fat but let's get him over here I love catching them this way I guarantee you it don't matter if it's a blue or a flathead but let's look at him right here it's a pretty little flathead Okay, we got him little devil unhooked, finally. Let's let him go right there. There he goes. He's going back out there to his nest. Let's catch another. Oh, no. Now, we got a big one right here. Right facing right into the sun right here. This is a good fish. I believe it's a blue because he's coming up to the top. I don't believe he's a gargantuan, but now he's putting it on me right here. Well, now he's acting like a flathead. I don't know what we got right here. I had to move. I moved a little bit shallower. Oh my goodness, y'all won't believe this. That's why I was confused about what I had. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what it is, I got a huge large mouth right here. And I mean a big one. Hilton, I want to thank you for this rod right here because I'm having some good luck this evening with it. I guarantee you. Golly bum, that was on a circle hook. I want y'all to look what a big fish. I couldn't decide. Come here. I want y'all to look at that. Now that's a doggone good one right there. That circle hook got him right in the corner of the mouth too. Let's let this fish back though, just as quick as we can what about that now I'm throwing off in about I was throwing off in about 17 foot of water over there on the other spot where I caught that flathead right here is probably about 14 feet so that fish right there was 14 feet deep how you know that Richard because I used to fish out here in a boat all the time Okay, using that depth finder. Let's let that fish go right there. That's a good one. Large mouth. Wouldn't have never thought it. There he goes. He's weak, but he's making it. What about that? What about that? That's not the first time I've done it. I've caught some big spotted bass right here. Fishing with these live bluegill, free lining them like this. But that caught me off surprise. Caught me off just a little bit. Well, the sun's going in behind the mountain right there. It's getting late in the evening. But right now is the time to catch a big one. So, I'm waiting. They hadn't been biting much this evening. Them two bites is all I got. That flathead and bass. And that's about it. But I got two good bluegill out here and they're moving. They're on the bottom. 
moving around a little bit, then staying put a while. Hooked in the tail like that, or the antel fin, what they do is they, they turn their face up just like that while they're on the bottom, and they, and they just do that, head up. Then they'll dart one way or the other, and then they'll go right back and do the same thing, and that's why this is effective. I'm sick of tired of that woman telling me what to do all the time. Every time I turn around, she's trying to tell me what to do. They ain't no woman gonna tell me what to do. I guarantee you that. Well, folks, we caught two this evening. And uh, special thanks to Hilton, of course, for sending me that reel, that Daiwa reel. Done a good job. It was the only rod and reel that got a bite this evening. So it must be lucky. I thank y'all for your support on this channel. Hey. Golly, boy. My goodness. Hey. Woo. And remember. Go fishing with your kid because it's good to you.